Hello everyone and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Miss Matthews and today we're going to consider ways that we can solve word problems. You will just need paper and something to write with. I'll give you a minute to gather those materials. Do you know what this animal is? This cute animal is a sloth. These mammals are known for moving very slowly and hanging upside down in trees. Did you notice their long claws? These clawed toes help sloths climb and hang upside down in trees. How many toes do you see on each leg? I see three toes or claws on each leg. So how many toes do you see on this sloth altogether? That's right! This sloth has 12 toes altogether. I can count them by threes. Three, six, nine, twelve. Or I can multiply four legs times three toes and get 12. Let's look at this problem. We know that three toed sloths have four legs. Do you remember how many toes one sloth has in all? That's right! We just figured out that they have 12 toes by skip counting by threes or multiplying four times three. If you saw blank three-toed sloths in a tree, how many toes would there be in all? What do we know? We know that there are a certain number of sloths in a tree and that each of those sloths has 12 toes. What are we trying to figure out? How many toes one sloth has? No, we already know that. One sloth has 12 toes. We are going to figure out how many toes all the sloths in the tree have all together. So, if you saw four three-toed sloths in a tree, how many toes would there be in all? Go ahead and solve this problem on your paper. If you finish, try solving it in a different way. If you finish solving it in two different ways, try a different number of sloths in the tree. Try five sloths or eight. We will come back together in three minutes.
I'm going to share with you two strategies that I saw some students use. The first strategy is by Sarah. She drew four circles. What do you think each circle represents? Exactly, she drew four circles to represent the four sloths in the tree. Then she wrote 12 inside each one. Why do you think she wrote 12 inside each circle? Right again, she wrote 12 because each sloth has 12 toes. After that, she knew she had to find the total, so she skip counted by 12. 12, 24, 36, 48. So four sloths have 48 toes, or four times 12 equals 48. Jose thought about it in a different way. He first added 12 plus 12 and got 24. What does each 12 represent? That's right. 12 is the number of toes one sloth has. Well, Jose really likes doubles, so he added 12 and 12 again to get another 24. Then he added 24 plus 24 and got 48. So what does that 48 mean? It means that four sloths have 48 toes. We know that because each 12 that Jose added represents one sloth. So he has counted all the toes on four sloths. He added 12 four times to get to 48. Another way to say that is four groups of 12 or four times 12 equals 48. Let's take a look at Sarah's and Jose's strategies. What's the same about them? Did you notice that they both use 12? Why did they do that? That's right, because one sloth has 12 toes. What else is the same? They both got 48 total toes. Yes, they both came to the same total at the end. What's different between Sarah's and Jose's strategies? One difference you may have noticed is that Sarah drew out each circle or sloth and then skip counted by 12, while Jose added 12 four times. In Jose's, I can see two groups of sloths that have 24 toes each. Where are those two groups of sloths in Sarah's strategy? Well, there are two sloths here and two more sloths here. That's the same as the 24 and 24 in Jose's strategy, right? Let's take a moment to reflect on today's learning. What is something you feel good about with multiplication? What is something you are still wondering about? Take some time now to share out or write down your thoughts to those questions.
So today we communicated our thinking when we solved the word problem on our papers. We can use different strategies like skip counting, repeated addition, doubling, or partial products to solve multiplication word problems. There are real life world problems all around you. Maybe think about how many toes are on your brothers and sisters or on all of your pets or maybe even on all of the mammals in your home, including the humans and the pets. Write down your problem and the strategy or strategies you would use to solve them. I hope you have a mathematical day and keep on counting. I'm Miss Matthews.